Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a shadow overlay using the um, the shadow overlay section of the LSP Overlay Applicator Action Bundle. I've included a free shadow overlay for you to get started with, but you can purchase a whole bundle of shadow overlays over on the LSP Actions website. That's at www.lsp-actions.com. You can also buy shadow overlays from various other places. So. What you need to do is open up your image in Photoshop. The actions are here in button mode. If you're unsure at any point of how to get actions into Photoshop, how to load them, how to get them in button mode, and how these actions work and the intended nature of the actions, please do watch video one where I go through everything. I'm gonna um, just jump ahead, assuming you've watched video one and we're good to go. So I'm gonna click here on the blue um, add a shadow overlay and locate the shadow on the computer. I'm using this one here, the LSP Window Shadow Sampler Overlay that I've included as a free gift for you. So double click that and you can reposition this around if you want to. Make sure that the shadow is covering the whole image, that you're not kind of cut off like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that there. The action plays out really, really quickly and it's added the shadow in, it's darkened up and it's lightened the areas to add that window shadow look in there. And what you can do, a black brush has been selected, make sure you're on normal mode, 100% opacity and 25% flow. And if you want, you can just dab this over just a little bit to lighten up if needed. You can also change the opacity and make this stronger or lighter. It's entirely up to you. So you can adapt that there by using the brushes. You also have some extras here. You have tonal magic, which adapts the shadow here to suit your shot. So with and without, you can see there, it's very subtle on this image, but depending on your shot, if you've got a very bright background, pink, blue, green, this will adapt the shadow even more. It just gives it that extra oomph. And then underneath here, you have blurred the shadow. So make sure you've clicked on the shadow and hit blur. And that adds a blur layer there. Can we see before and after? You can also double click the Gaussian blur and you can change your own level of blurring. So that's all adaptable, it's all editable. And we have a liquefy the shadow here. So if we hit extra liquefy the shadow, make sure you've clicked on the shadow first. And let's just grab our liquefy brush. And if you need to do anything, uh, you know, change the shape of your shadow at all, you can do that. Let's just add that coming down here a little bit. So you can do that and it will just change the shape of that shadow. Any point you don't like what you've done, you can just control or command Z to undo it. So that's adding a shadow using the LSP shadow set. Let's open up another image and add one more shadow here. Go over the same process, add a shadow overlay, locate the shadow. I'm using the same one. But of course you could create your own. You can buy the entire editorial um, shadow overlay kit from the LSP Actions website, which contains all the shadows that I've created, um, are different to this one. And they're all adapted, ready to use as well, and suited for your images. So they're not wildcard. Um, but of course, you could um, create your own in AI. You can, you know, grab shadows. So as before and after, just in a click, and it's already adapted that shadow to your image. So I hope you enjoy that. I can't wait to see what you create with that one. If you want to watch the other videos for adding sky overlays, glitter, and textures, which is all included in this pack, please do watch the other video tutorials. And also adding a subject to a digital background. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.